Today we will see how to make this beautiful wallpaper for your valentine. We would start by creating a new brush. I have already opened up a document of uh, 200 by 200 pixel. Uh, it's transparent. Uh, the next thing that we would do is make sure our foreground color is black. I'm just selecting it uh, to black. It's important that it is black because um, this is what we would be uh, filling our shape with. The next thing that we would do is select um, the custom shape tool from your uh, toolbar or you can you know very well press U from your keyboard. Once the custom shape tool is selected, you can uh, choose any of these uh, you know preset shapes that you would like uh, for the purposes of this tutorial we would be selecting the heart shape and next we would um, click and drag if you would want your shape uh, to be of equal dimensions in both the axes uh, hold on to the shift key while you're dragging and if you notice that your shape is you know coming out of the canvas uh, hold on to the space bar and position it wherever you would like I think this looks fine. I have already applied shape styles. That's why it's like that. We would just quickly clear it up. Um, so yeah, this is how your shape should look. The next thing that we would do is uh, apply shape styles to it. And we would double click the layer to reveal the blending options. The most important thing in any uh, bokeh effect is the uh, transparency of uh, the shape. So we would achieve that with something called as the fill opacity we would just make it around 50. So what this does is um, it makes your shape 50% transparent. After this, we would uh, apply a stroke to it of color black again and size maybe five pixel and let's position it in the center. Yeah, so you're almost halfway done. The next thing that we would want to do is uh, we would want to select a uh, this thumbnail with a heart and make sure it has a nice black outline you know just click it once then after that we would go to edit and we would uh, we would save this shape uh, by clicking on define brush preset and this opens up a dialog box where you can give your brush a name i'm just calling it the heart heart bouquet 2 and yeah, we are done. Now we have a shape ready and we can continue with our wallpaper. Now after we have our brush ready, we would now move on to making a beautiful wallpaper. I have already selected um, a wallpaper, um, a canvas. Sorry, I have already selected a canvas big enough to fit my screen. Um, the resolution that I have used here is 1280 by 800 pixels. You could, you know, go ahead and use uh, any size you would want. I have filled the background uh, with the color 262626. Uh, one thing that we would keep in mind is uh, we wouldn't fill the background with black because uh, the effect doesn't really come up well on black. So yeah, I have used the color 262626. Um, the next thing that we would do is um, select the brush tool and right click and select the brush that we have just made. And on the right hand side, um, if you see, there is a brush uh, tools uh, setting box that we would use. Um, we would first click on brush tip shape and make the spacing to around 70. That again depends on the shape. If you would want an overlap, you know, I would uh, go with 100 here. Uh, I will select the shape dynamics to be, um, you know, size zeta is 100 and minimum diameter I'm having it for 58 pixel is fine. Yeah, I would want scattering. So my count is 3 and uh, other dynamics, my opacity jitter and my flow jitter are 50% each and I have selected smoothing. Uh, next, we would go ahead and create a new layer and double click it to reveal the blending options. Uh, we would then fill the layer with a gradient overlay. Um, the colors that we choose in a gradient overlay would decide uh, the colors that our shapes would appear in. Um, for the last layer, I'm choosing black. I'm choosing yellow, a yellow and orange gradient. So we would want the breast size to be a little high. 
and we would just brush again this is uh, on personal preference uh, you could do it as you wish one more thing that we would go back to gradient overlay and we would set the angle to 45 so it gives me a nice angular um, color okay this looks good so now I'm going to go and apply a Gaussian blur on it so I would select um, filter blur and Gaussian blur and I would give it a blur of uh, maybe 20 pixels to give it a really nice uh, in the background blended uh, glow. Um, the next thing I would do is I would create a new layer and um, one thing that I personally like to do is um, you know if you need the same styles uh, over a few layers I would just select the layer which already has a layer style I would uh, say right click on it and say copy layer style and for my new layer I click on it right click and I say paste layer style so this layer will automatically get the layers uh, the styles of the previous layer so we would do the same thing on this layer but we would reduce our brush size to about 150 pixel per se yeah I think this is fine and we would just brush uh, again uh, you know keep doing this till your hearts uh, till your shapes are you know filled and we would blur it again with Gaussian blur but this time we wouldn't have 20 we would have something like 10 or even 10 5 pixel looks 6 pixel will do uh, the effect that we are trying to achieve here is um, you know trying to give a 3d a 3d look to this whole picture and I think it looks good I would then create a new layer and give it the same layer styles select my same brush but this time I'm going to use a very tiny brush around 64 pixels and I'm going to brush my way through I don't like the placement so I'm gonna just go ahead and change it I think this looks fine a uh, little bit of hearts here and some hearts there I think this looks fine uh, let us just zoom in and see the actual effect I mean this is how the uh, now after we have our background ready um, we would now make a nice big uh, red heart in the middle of our screen uh, so we would just choose our custom shape tool again or you can just um, select you from your keyboard and let's uh, make create a new layer and then draw a nice heart right in the middle of your screen uh, using the move tool you can just uh, move it you know just align it in the center of your screen um, then we would double click on this layer to reveal our blending options and we would uh, first try to give it a nice drop shadow so that uh, you know to give the effect that it's standing out uh, then we would give a nice gradient overlay you know valentine so let's make it red Um, the colors again are uh, based on your personal preference you can have any shade of red or you know pink or any shade you prefer uh, let's make it a little bit lighter at the top so that it gives uh, a neat 3d look and a little bit of outer glow would help you know the outer glow again I'm uh, making it to red just to add that extra touch and um, yeah I think that should do um, the next thing we would uh, quickly add up some gloss over it so let's create a new layer and I'm selecting my mark you tool um, 
or you can you know directly click uh, click M from your keyboard I'm just selecting my electrical mark here tool I'm just going to draw an ellipse Uh, covering almost the top half of my heart I'm going to press down my control shift alt key and click on my shape layer and once I do that uh, it automatically selects the portions of um, the portion uh, co you know covering my uh, covering the shape so now that I have my portion ready I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use my gradient tool, convert my color palette to black and white. I'm going to right click on this and select the second gradient that is um, white to transparent. And I'm going to draw a side angled. Uh, you know, you need to keep doing this till you get it, uh, get it exactly the, at the right size okay i think it looks fine the shine is uh, you know fine so i say control d to deselect my selection and um, on my layer style uh, having my shine layer selected i would um, click on the layer to be of type soft light so this gives me a nice um, you know 3d look to my uh, to the shape I would just create uh, a new layer and add some text on it. Um, this again is, uh, you know, a personal preference. I would just have this text in the middle and we would definitely want to style this so let's align it in the middle first and go to your um, character uh, styler here i'm not sure what this box is called but uh, it's used to style your fonts so um, select any any font any nice curvy font um, as of uh, this tutorial i'm not really sure i have so many fonts I would like monotype or Corsavia here. Um, 32 pixel would do. I think it looks fine. Uh, let's just see. Yeah, so this is the uh, look that we have. If you want to, uh, you know, add some more styles to your text, you can go ahead and do it. And um, yeah, as of now, this looks fine. Um, let's quickly see how this looks as my wallpaper. Um, to save it in any other format, uh, Photoshop by default saves this in a you know PSD format. But if you would want to save it in JPEG, you would say save as and select uh, JPEG. And you would just say heart. Uh, quality always the best uh, practice is to keep it high you don't want your quality to degrade and uh, yeah so let's see how my wallpaper looks yeah so um, this is how it, it comes out and thank you and I hope you had fun